All right, so if you're a football fan, chances are chicken wings, like we just talked about, pizza, chips, dips on the menu for tonight's game. We know it. Registered dietitian and fitness specialist Karen Kowalks. We thought we would bring her in to shed some light on what we would need to do to burn all of that off. So you're going to kind of kill the party before I it even know. starts, Karen. I hate to be a downer, just <laughs> trying to add some perspective and some, some options so that before we don't you go nuts somebody. tonight, yes, right? That's right. It's early enough. You can still go in and get a workout in. Um, a chicken wing. Now, the average chicken wing is usually about 80 to 140 calories. So Just one? One, yes. Ooh. So, looking at, say, a, a 100 calorie chicken wing, you would have to cycle for 15 minutes. Uh, a slice of pizza, 200 calories. The average person may have to cycle, may have a jog 24 minutes. An ounce of potato chips, you know those little Lay's yeah. potato chip bags? I hope you enjoy walking because <laughs> 42 minutes and two ounces of guacamole about 100 calories, so also 15 minutes of cycling. So hopefully you enjoy ex some exercise this morning uh, be before the big uh, splurge. Yeah, that's uh, quite a workout. I know some people actually do work out though ahead of time so that they can splurge later on. You can make a little dent, dent in, the, in the couple thousand calories people might be eating today. Well, let's talk about what's in front of us. It's making yes. me so hungry. This is asparagus avocado and this is all the rage on the internet. When I heard about it, I wanted to try it to see if it actually tasted like... Asparagus yes. avocado. Okay. You can cut the calories in half by using frozen asparagus. Right mm. here. So basically, you could just get one of these, defrost it. Can I try it to yes. see if this yes. is try how this really tastes? Because I am so curious. Okay, you. Well, that's the one with all the finished. <laughs> oh, this is the finished one. You got it midway, oh, sorry. but that's oh. okay. Mm. Still delicious. Mm. So what's in it is I put my asparagus. You gotta have a really nice blender or mm -hmm. food processor. My asparagus, my Greek yogurt, my spices, my lemon. Get it really, really, really. Uh, mixed in very, very well till it's very creamy. And then you can just add in your toppings like a half a cup, a cup of tomatoes. I like mine chunky, so that I, I like- That is good. Cilantro, um, quarter cup, quarter cup of red pepper. You just mix it in. I'm sorry, red onion, not red pepper. And you won't know the difference. As a matter of fact, I left some in the refrigerator and text my husband, I'm like, hey, there's some avocado <laughs> in there. And he said it was amazing. Cutting down the calories, cutting down the fat. That is delicious. Sorry, our band is sitting over there and I, I could tell that their mouths are watering. Guys, we'll make sure you get some of this. Uh, Beth, you're gonna wanna try this. Excellent, oh, by the way, we're gonna put these recipes, again, on Facebook. Yes. These are two excellent, excellent recipes. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank Beth, you. we've got some eating to do here. I know, absolutely, I love when Karen comes in. Love when Karen comes in because she takes your favorites and she makes them okay. So then Denise and I can just sit there and chow after the show. Here you go, Doppler Max, you can see